All right, well, Chris, 2019's almost here. Can you believe that? I know, it's just like, it seems like 2018 is just going, it was just a flash. Yeah, I know. Well, how's the weather going to be looking for you? Well, it looks to me that we're going to see some fairly cold temperatures. We're going to have a gradual warm-up, but just go into the next three days. A Sunday, you're going to have some widespread rain. We're going to start out with, like, slight rain chances for our Sunday morning, and then we're going to start in seeing those increasing chances as we head into Sunday evening into the afternoon hours. But New Year's Eve, starting out with some slight showers, but it's going to be mostly sunny. Highs in the low 60s for New Year's Eve, but overnight temps uh, for New Year's Eve into New Year's Day is going to be in the 20s. So we're going to have another cold night as we get into the new year. But uh, look, New Year's, we're going to get into a low, have a cold front coming through, getting down to 38 for our high on New Year's Day. So uh, definitely seeing those, going to see those winds increase as we head into the 2019 there. But for the next, uh, right now, we're sitting at 36 degrees here in San Angelo. Feels like 30 when you factor in that wind. Humidity is at 70 percent and the pressure is at 30.25 and steady. But for our temperatures for the past 24 hours is that we actually got down to below freezing last night here in San Angelo. Got down to about 34, 32 degrees and then we just didn't really warm up too much. Got up to 39. I thought we were going to make it to 40, but we ended up just uh, staying right there at 39 degrees for us here in San Angelo. But uh, current clouds and radar for the past 12 hours here is that we did see some specks of some winter precipitation up to the northeast of us. And I know they were dealing with some freezing fog and freezing drizzle in Midland and Odessa, so which is called was going to cause some travel concerns for them earlier today, but it looks to me us here in the Concha Valley not dealing with too much. Here's the current look of the live radar network. Nothing showing up on radar, just those that cloud cover that's just remaining above uh, the Concho Valley. But current temperatures across the area, 35 in Wasp, 34 in Sterling City, sitting below freezing, 33 degrees in El Dorado and 34 in Barnhart. So we're going to start seeing those temperatures dip down just a little bit as we progress throughout the night into tomorrow morning. But our future cast is showing that cloud cover lasting as we get into tomorrow morning, but then we are going to see some possible rain chances as we wake up for our Sunday morning. I know uh, this particular model, our future cast, is showing some potential hinting around with some frozen precipitation up near Mason and Junction along the I-10 corridor. This is for tomorrow morning, so take that in consideration. No ice or freezing... Uh, Free accumulations are expected along the I-10 uh, corridor, but we are going to see some widespread rain as we head into Sunday night, into evening, into the evening hours there. So uh, definitely. Uh it's going to be a wet Sunday, but then it's clearing on out for Monday, 39 degrees. Those showers will be lasting into early Monday morning, but that's going to clear on out. We're going to have a very really sunny Monday for our New Year's Eve, but overnight temps for Monday is going to be fairly cold into the, tw into the 20s with high temps into the low 60s. Currently uh, across the nation, high pressure system sitting just to the north of us, this low pressure system is responsible for all the moisture that we've been getting for today, and it's going to be responsible for the moisture that we're getting for tomorrow. So uh, definitely keeping those rain chances uh, uh, possible, but tomorrow we're going to have an upper low pressure system. That's the same one that we saw just now. That's going to be lasting in northern Mexico, and that's going to be increasing our moisture for tomorrow. But tonight, getting down into about 31 degrees, cloudy and cold winds out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour, and for tomorrow, for our Sunday, getting up to 42 degrees. Going to start off the day with mostly a slight chance of showers, but then they'll start increasing as we head throughout the day with the possible freezing precipitation just to the south of us along Junction, Mason. So just definitely keep an eye on it if you plan to travel in that general area. But for the next seven days, that we are going to anticipate uh, some rain for the next couple of days as we get into our New Year's. Or actually, we're going to go into our Sunday planner. Uh, mostly uh, cold, uh, 34 degrees, chance of showers, 40% chance of moderate rain. And then for the next seven days, like I mentioned, is that we are going to see our rain potential for Sunday and Monday. Cold front coming through between Monday and Tuesday, getting up to 38 for New Year's Day. Overnight Monday into New Year's day is going to be tw tw low of 28 degrees. And for the next seven days there is that we're going to start seeing our uh, cloud cover clear on now, and then we're going to have this gradual warming as we head into the end of the week with overnight temps into the low 20s as we head into 2019. Wow.